All right, you guys, excuse all of our laundry, but I gotta show you what I just walked in on. So, that's a thing, and I was trying to find the cat who normally hides under our bed. But look who's just sitting here. Now he's the king of the world. Nice and comfy. But hey, you guys, it is the 23rd. I just got off work. I need to log on and see what a video is doing, but I'm really confused what's going on in this room. Um, so hopefully Logan will be home soon to tell me what the heck is going on. But I'm gonna leave the cat alone because he still just looks so content with this life. So I will leave him to it. Alright, so good morning universe and those in it. That actually doesn't help at all, I don't think. Oh, that works a little bit. Okay, so hi. Um, I'm trying to find good lighting, I'm sorry. Um, it is the 24th, and I am exhausted. I got almost no sleep last- well, I got like almost seven hours of sleep last night, but I need a little bit more than seven hours. So I'm very sleepy this morning. Still have to take my medicine. Um, but I have two hours of training today, which is interesting. Um, but I have two hours of training today, which means that I'm sitting down for two hours, I'm not working, I'm not moving, but I'm learning and I'm going to be very tired. So hopefully I can stay awake. Um, but yeah, I don't know if Logan's going to go to work today or not. I honestly don't because some stuff is going on. So I don't know if he's going to be at work today or not. Regardless, I have stuff to do when I get home. So I need to be in the sewing room once I get home. And we will hang out there. Everything is so sleepy. Everything. I'm so tired. And I don't know why. Um. But yeah, Logan does have some news. I'm not allowed to share it though. Um. It's good news. Don't worry. Um. But yeah, he has some news. I'm not allowed to share it with bugs me. Because I'm so excited about it. But, um. Yeah. I'm excited. And I feel bad not being able to tell people. But. It's respectful. Um, I'm also really excited because I showed my two nieces the, a few vlogs that have their kids in it. And they both liked them. So, hey, how about the old kid to post them and I'm excited about it. I don't know. I just get excited when people, when I show my family my content and they're just like, yes. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm happy. I'm happy, but I gotta get into work. So... Does anyone else ever see a police car going in the direction of your house and wonder what your person did? Because there was a police car that just drove by very fast with all the sirens on and everything. My immediate rea reaction was, what did Logan do? Not that Logan ever does anything. Honestly, he's pressing it at home playing video games. But my immediate reaction is still, what did he do? Oh, you're recording, not taking pictures. Yeah. Mm. There noodles. I was trying to be Poe's Fane and trying to be all that. No. Mm. We're at Noodles. We're waiting for his family. Yeah. I'm not going to film with your family, don't worry. That's fine. Jackson already almost got hit by a car. Oh yeah, I didn't mean to. Hey right, guys, I thought I'd take a clip while well, I have a few minutes. So yesterday you saw Logan and I at Noodles and Company. That actually ended up being the wrong Noodles and Company. That was an adventure. Um, but we ended up after dinner taking Logan's little sister Maddie and his little nephew Jackson to in a place called Insomnia Cookies. They have one by the U of M in the Twin Cities, but they got one by the university by us. And that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Um, well, Maddie and Logan talked outside afterwards. I ended up talking to Jackson for a while and I felt so bad because my, my, I got a new medication and it was just hitting me so hard that I could like barely carry on a conversation. But he was like having, a, he seemed to be having a good time in the car and we talked about his friends. We talked about his party. We talked about school a little bit. We talked about what he'll do today on his birthday. He is turning seven. 
Like, I've only known him for two years, but it's insane that he is turning seven. It is absolutely insane. Um, but he is spending the day with his mom. It is grandma who came to surprise him yesterday. Um, they're spending the day today at a water parky thing by us. Um, yeah, I, he's having a good day, I hope. But that was a lot of fun. Logan and I went home and actually while we were dropping Jackson off at the hotel with his mom and his grandma who had gone shopping to pick up some basic things that his grandma needed. Um, okay, Rose is almost getting ready to go, um, which means that I need to go. Um, but while we were dropping up, him off at the hotel, um, I was talking to Logan's sister, Michaela, about my medication and how it was hitting me really hard. And she looked it up for me. <laughs> And it ends up that it's uh, antihistamine, so it helps with allergic reactions, but it's also used for anxiety and whatnot. But it's also a sedative. So needless to say, by the time I got home, I crashed. And I was in bed almost immediately and with asleep within like a half hour. And it took all of my alarms. I woke up on my last alarm this morning, which is insane for me. Um... But that's kind of what happened yesterday, and then today I've been thinking really hard. I just texted my niece, Chelsea, about this. But, um, so, my great niece, Serenity, is turning one in November, which is fucking insane. Um, but she is turning one in November, and I've been, like, collecting things for the last few months for her, and I've always been buying 12-month clothes, 12-month clothes, 12-month clothes. Well, when I saw Chelsea the last week, and I asked her what size clothes, and she said 18 months. She's like, dang it. So I just texted my niece and I was just like, I have all, I have some 12 month clothes that I bought for her. Like, should I send them to you ASAP or should I just donate them? Because we have a drive tomorrow here at work and baby clothes are accepted. Um, so that would be easy. That'd be really easy to do. But yeah, that's kind of an update on my life, I guess. I don't know. I just hope that Jackson's having a good birthday. I hope that I wake up a little bit here and I can go hang out and play tomorrow. Or tonight, because tonight's the actual birthday dinner. And I felt so bad because we had to tell his grandma and his mom and Jackson yesterday. Like, I'm not sure if I can make it because of shop stuff. So, once I get out of here, I really need to sit down and figure out what I want to do tonight. Um, I can put it all off. Logan starts his new job tomorrow, so he just won't be home. Um, yeah, it's just insane. And I feel bad because there's no way for me to make Logan's birthday meal. Yeah, there's no way that I can make it, so. I don't know, there's still a lot going on. And I've been blabbing at you for four minutes, and I gotta go to work. Alright, you guys, it is after work. As I said a little bit ago, like 30 seconds for you guys, but a few hours for me. I need to send off some stuff. What is that? Um, I need to send some stuff off to Chelsea and Serenity, because I have no idea what I even have. So, I'm gonna look, see... What I have, what I could probably return, or like exchange sizes on, and go from there. But we're going to switch to my other camera while we do that, because my phone needs to charge. So, let's go! Alright, so I'm actually really surprised by some stuff. So, this is my donate pile. Um, we got this that I got in clearance last year. It is six months. And we got this. This is six to nine months. I added the embellishment on it. And that's super cute, but it's not going to work. Six to nine months. Jersey never got to her. And this is probably a six to nine month little dress that just isn't going to get to her in time. So those are all going in the donate pile. I just have a running pile of things that I donate. And this is all the stuff that I'll have to get to her ASAP, along with the onesies that I want to take pictures of. So we got this cute little Minnie Mouse sweatshirt that I just hauled. We got this cute little outfit that I just hauled a little bit ago. Then we got... A hoodie and some leggings that I just made. This stuff is all 18 months. I also have one other unicorn thing. That's 18 months. So I think I might try to take this and the unicorn thing back. It's that thing right there. Because um, I just bought them. So I'm going to take them back and try to get 24 months. I think. Because these just aren't going to fit her if she's already going to 18 month clothing. And these two, they look to be about 18 months, 
but they're for summer. So I'm going to keep them, see if she can use them next summer, but if she can't use them next summer, it's not like I don't know how to make them. So I got enough fabric to remake these if needed. But yeah, overall, I have a lot less stuff than I thought that I would have to send to her, so now I'm trying to figure out the best way to send it to her. And, like, this is still at Target. I could bring it back and, like, exchange it for the next size up. I'm thinking I might actually just do that. I'll take this back and I'll take these two things back and see if I can exchange them for the next size up. Um, just because it's going to be easier if we can get them in sizes that she actually needs. Um... As for these two things, these leggings just need a little thing and a tag, but then they can go. And then this was just a trial thing that I threw together one day. But it's pretty obvious what the size is on it, so... These can just go over to her in a bubble mailer. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that. So I have some things to return, exchange sizes for it. This is so cute though. Um, but... Overall, it's not that bad. I thought that I'd have a lot more random stuff that I just kind of forgot about just because I just did that with Apollo. I have a bunch of stuff that I just forgot about. Um, I really don't want Serenity. Hmm. Oh wait, I have all those onesies. I have a few onesies that I wanted to send away just to get them out of my house once the samples were done. So hopefully I can finish those in the next two days. Hopefully everything fits in a little bubble mailer. Actually, I'll probably just solve these right now and call it a day. But yeah, Serenity's birthday is coming up, so I don't want to, like, give her too much stuff now just because I want stuff to give her on her birthday. But she's my next round of things to make, so it's a thing. I think that that's the fire alarm. I really think that that's the fire alarm the longer I sit here. Yeah. So much fun. In case anyone's wondering what I'm going to make for Serenity, I have this knit fabric that's going to be leggings, a onesie, and a hoodie if I can get all that out of it. I think I can. And whatever else I can get out of it. I got this, which is going to be a little pinafore. This is going to be a little pinafore. I want to get a um, brown linen to make a little dress. I have this sunflower fabric that's going to go with the blue linen, a leg of chambray, and I think that'll be cute. This is going to be a little Sorrento with a white or er, pink shirt underneath that I'll think it'll work and these are going to be onesies and overalls and hoodies and whatever else I can get and leggings whatever else I can get out of them.